एवरीवन आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट इट्स बीन अ लॉन्ग टाइम आई डेंट क्रिएट एनी वीडियो सो आई थॉट ऑफ क्रिएटिंग अ वीडियो एंड देन थॉट ऑफ स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू प्लेलिस्ट व्हिच इज गोइंग टू बी प्रोमेथियस एंड इन दिस प्लेलिस्ट वी आर गोइंग टू बी लर्निंग प्रोमेथियस एज अ बिगिनर एंड देन आई एम गोइंग टू ट्राई हार्ड दैट आई मूव यू फ्रॉम बिगिनर टू इंटरमीडिएट लेवल विद इन टू आवर्स सो दिस प्ले लिस्ट इज गोइंग टू बी ऑफ टू आवर्स लॉन्ग and let's get started let's see what is prometheus so in short prometheus is a monitoring tool which is going to help you monitor your infrastructure devices now when i call infrastructure devices what are the things can it monitor so prometheus can monitor servers and in servers it can monitor so many things it can monitor cpu memory disk file system network bandwidth utilization and so on uh, can it monitor all the networking devices yes it can do it by using snmp exporter Now, what is this node exporter and SNMP exporter which I have underlined? So we are going to be discussing about it later on. And can it monitor batch jobs? Yes, it can do it by using push gateway. So what is node exporter? Node exporter, you can think of node exporter as an a Prometheus agent which collects, which runs on all the server and collects all the important metrics like CPU utilization, memory utilization, and so on. Similarly we have a different agent which is called SNMP exporter which is going to be useful to pull a network metric related uh, statistics or metrics whatever you want to call it okay so what is the main component of prometheus the main component of prometheus is prometheus server so you must be having a single server or at least a single server which is going to be uh, running prometheus server and then on all of the application servers which you want to monitor uh, you need to make sure you have node exporter installed on all of those servers and then uh, once you install the agents on all of these application servers in that case you are going to tell prometheus servers that you have installed all the uh, node exporter on the target systems and then uh, you are going to tell prometheus server that prometheus server should be uh, start monitoring these targets now and all of those uh, configuration happens in prometheus configuration file okay so i hope the architecture is clear it is very simple guys you have you have a prometheus server which is your main server and it is going to give you a web user interface which is you are going to use that web user interface in in order to see uh, what all the metrics have been collected what all the agents which are being monitored and so on the interface of uh, prometheus is not really uh, not really the one which is you are going to be using to create lot of graphs and so on if you want to create a lot of interesting visualization then we are going to be using grafana and prometheus okay but prometheus does have its own user interface which can be used if required now this is very simple architecture which i'm showing you now let's move on to a rather complicated architecture which is a complete architecture of prometheus so you see here uh, i shown you what is prometheus server so prometheus server is again having three main components it has retrieval component it it has tsdb which is time series database and then it has http server so what are these uh, three components do so retrieval component is going to be connecting to all the agents and then going to be pulling all the data related system monitoring and going to keep all of these data to tsdb which is time series database now time series database is different than your traditional rdbms relational uh, database management systems or servers so time series is quite efficient when you want to uh, pull or you want to uh, keep matrix with changes over time okay so that is time series database then what does http server uh, do so prometheus as i told you it also has web application web user interface so that web user interface is going to be running over http server so that's how your uh, that's how prometheus is able to show you beautiful prometheus web user interface Okay so if you move on here you can see Prometheus web user interface it connects to Prometheus server using something which is called PromQL what is PromQL PromQL is Prometheus query language and using Prometheus query language you can query all the data which is available in Prometheus server and then you can also use Grafana Grafana also supports uh, connecting to Prometheus server using Prometheus uh, query language and you can also connect to prometheus server by directly making api calls okay so you can uh, create your own uh, python programs or whatever and then you can use promql to connect to prometheus server so all of these uh, these options are available 
So API clients, I just wanted to uh, explain more about this. So you can use it, let's say if you want to you know, show some data, you want to pull some data from Prometheus server and want to show it in your own custom website, in those kind of scenario, you can use it. Now can Prometheus send alerts? Yes, it can send alerts to uh, to a lot of you know different targets. So for example, it can send alert to emails, uh, to telegram, pager duty and so on. And for that, it uses a component which is called Alert Manager. So what Prometheus does it, uh, once it identifies a, you know, a criteria or a rule where an event has to be triggered, in that case, it is going to push that alert to Alert Manager and then it is Alert Manager's responsibility to connect to or to send all the events to the target notification system. So where do you define all of these alerting rules? So all of those gets defined in on Prometheus server and Prometheus server has a configuration file where we define all of those things. So we'll be uh, talking about those things when we do hands-on. Now what is service discovery? So whenever you install agents on all of the target systems, you can do, you, there are two mechanisms. You can tell Prometheus server uh, that you have installed agents on the target system. Okay, one is static, uh, static mechanism. So in static mechanism, you just go to Prometheus server configuration file and you give uh, host name of all the you know, servers where you have installed agents. Uh, or the other one is service discovery. In that case, Prometheus is going to connect to target system and going to be, you know, discover things on its own. So these are the things which we have available. Now again the one important thing here is time series database. So time series database is stored locally on the same server where you install Prometheus and I would recommend you have SSD, you don't use HSD. If you have SSD, performance of Prometheus is going to be way faster. Now what are some of the key features of Prometheus? So Prometheus main feature is a storing of a matrix as a key value pair. Okay, so we'll come to this in more detail when we are doing hands-on. Uh, for now, you just think of Prometheus stores everything uh, as a time series database and it everything has basically a key and a value. So for example, uh, in case of CPU utilization, CPU utilization is the key name and the actual utilization of the server, which is like 40% or whatever numeric values, that is going to be the value. And then PromQL, you already got some idea about PromQL. Uh, it doesn't really, Pr Prometheus doesn't need to rely on a lot of, you know, uh, several systems and so on. If you just have a single server, you install Prometheus server on that and then that's it. You are uh, good to get started. Another feature of Prometheus is that Prometheus uses HTTP mechanism in order to pull all the data from its agents. Okay, so agents do not push data to Prometheus servers. Prometheus server connects to agents in order to get the data. Now, pushing time series data is a possibility. It is available. If you want data to be sent to Prometheus server, that can be done as well by using intermediary gateway. So we will see if we really need to go into the detail of this, but uh, I guess whatever the uh, existing pool mechanism that is quite suitable, we should be using that. Targets are discovered via service discovery or static configuration. So this is the one which I was telling you that whenever you install agent on new target system, either you can tell uh, Prometheus, uh, by going to configuration file that you have installed a new server now and you want to start connecting to that server as well in order to pull the matrix from that server. Or you can rely on service discovery which is going to discover that agent, it's, uh, which is going to discover the target uh, itself. Now it says multiple modes of graphing and dashboarding support. So yes, you can use Grafana, you can use your own you know, custom web application in order to show the graph and all by using uh, client APIs. And uh, Grafana is the one which is more suitable, which is I like. So what I'm doing here is I have uh, this cloud, okay, Google Cloud, where I have created two servers. So IT Panther 01 is the server where we are going to have our uh, Prometheus server. And then it is just, uh, there is another server which is called Web App. I'm going to use it just to showcase you. Uh, you can think of it as, your, as any application server which you want to monitor in your environment. And then we are going to follow along a Prometheus documentation. Documentation is quite simple and beautiful. That's why I'm going to use it. I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. So in order to 
uh, download uh, Prometheus, all you have to do is right click here, open it in a new tab and then it's going to take you to the download page. Now here you can see Prometheus, uh, you have Prometheus component and you have several other components as well. For example, I was talking about alert manager, so you have alert manager as well, which you can download and then there are several exporters. So exporters are basically agents which is going to be pulling the data on different sort of servers or systems and then, then going to be uh, then Prometheus is going to be connecting to exporter to pull the data. Okay. So we are uh, for now what we need is we just need Prometheus and I'm on Linux so in that case I'm going to be uh, downloading this one so I'm just going to right click on this and click on copy link address and then going to go to the server this is a server which i have and currently you can see the username which i'm using is called prometheus and current working directory or present working directory is slash home slash prometheus and in order to download the software or the link which we have copied i'm going to use wget command and paste the link which we just copied and hit enter the software is going to get downloaded you can see it is saying prometheus and the version number has been saved here so you can do ls hyphen lrt and you can see this is the software which has been downloaded. Now this is compressed, so we need to uh, uncompress it by using tazxvf. Okay, it has been uncompressed. Now let's clear the screen first and do ls-lrt. You can see now you have a directory which is called Prometheus, which starts with Prometheus. So I'm going to go inside this directory and do ls hyphen lrt again. Now you can see here we have Prometheus, we have prompt tool, we have Prometheus.yml. So Prometheus, uh, you will see Prometheus, this is the one which is responsible for starting, stopping or managing services of Prometheus. Prompt tool is very important Prometheus tool which is going to be used for a lot of things. For example, let's say when you create a rule and you want to see the syntax of the rule file, in that case you are going to be using prompt tool and there are many other features of ROM tool as well. What is Prometheus.yml? So Prometheus.yml is Prometheus configuration file. Prometheus stores its configuration file as a YML file. So I'm going to show you what are the things which we need to change here. But for now, let's just follow the documentation. It says, uh, let's just go step by step. Okay, so what it is saying here is that now we have we have we have downloaded prometheus software and then we will be starting by monitoring prometheus server itself okay so prometheus server can manage all the target machine but it can also monitor itself okay so let's uh, start running prometheus and we are going to monitor prometheus itself so what this documentation is saying is that you can go and open prometheus.yml file and in that case uh, in the static configuration we have something called scrape configuration and under scrape configuration we have scrape interval which is 5 seconds so we are telling that we should be collecting the data from this target every 5 seconds then something called static configuration where we are telling targets so in the targets we are telling that we have uh, we have agent uh, which is available to be monitored on localhost 9090 okay so don't get confused here, we are basically monitoring Prometheus server itself by using Prometheus. We are not installing node exporter yes, we are, uh, yet, we are going to be installing node exporter very soon. So let's go to the server, so where are we, we are here, okay. So I'm going to open, I'm going to open Prometheus YML file. And now you can see here we have we have something similar which is being shown here okay so what it means is that uh, prometheus will be start monitoring itself as well okay so we already have this configuration available here by default so you don't really need to make any changes all we need to do is we can move on to next step to start the prometheus so i just wanted to show it to you here and you can see this line is already available if it is not available you can just uh, write this line here so I'm just going to exit from here and now let's move on to full screen mode and now we need to start Prometheus and while starting Prometheus we also need to tell Prometheus to pick Prometheus.yml as a configuration file.
Okay, so what Prometheus documentation says that you can use this command in order to start Prometheus. So let's go on. And here we are running dot slash Prometheus hyphen hyphen config dot file equal to Prometheus dot YML, which is this configuration file, which we just, uh, which was already existing. We didn't really modify anything yet, but in future, if we modify anything, uh, in that case, those changes are going to be picked up here. Okay. So let's, uh, hit enter and you can see now it is saying server is ready to receive web request. Okay, which means Prometheus server is installed and running properly and we now should be able to access Prometheus server on port 9090. Okay, so now in order to access Prometheus server, we need to use this public IP. So this is going to be your server IP in case you are installing it on a server and then the port number for this is going to be 9090 and once we do that, we should be able to see Prometheus user interface as you see here on the screen. So that's how easy it is to install Prometheus and get started. Now what it is saying is in order to explore data in Prometheus, we can now start writing query in expression using the expression browser. Okay. So here you see we have, we have something called expression. So in expression, you write a query and then uh, Prometheus shows you the results. So for example, this is a query uh, which I'm writing. If I click on execute, you can see these are the data which is available. Okay. And for example, let's say if you want to uh, see CPU utilization, then you can start writing CPU and then you can see process CPU seconds total. This is the one which we need to use in order to see CPU utilization. Okay. So this is how it is. And we are going to just have a quick walkthrough of user interface in next video. So in this lesson, we learned what is Prometheus, Prometheus overview, architecture and features. And also we installed Prometheus and we are able to access Prometheus user interface. Uh, and also we are able to see some of the data which is available in Prometheus. So in next video, we are going to learn more. Stay subscribed to the channel if you have not subscribed already. And see you again in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.